every once in a while you get a burnt out bulb outside and the problem can be that uh it's corroded because it's been in there a couple of years and it's gotten a bit damp and so the stem is corroded right in the right into right in the socket so i'm going to show you what to do in that very case i've got one little screw out ideally I would have my screwdriver with me, but I don't. Unfortunately, these are loose enough that I can get them out with my gloved fingers. That one's stubborn. There we go. Tiny little buglets all dead. Okay, here's the trick. Bag. Very important. Safety glasses. Very important. Okay, so here's the trick. You put the bag over the bulb. Okay, the, bulbs, the bulb is, is really in there, and you're afraid it's going to like smash into tiny smithereens in your hand. So you put a bag over it, like so. Wait. Get your hammer, which conveniently is in your tool belt. And while holding the bag firmly in place over the bulb, which I can tell by palpating it is right there, you simply smash the bulb. See? That wasn't so bad. Now I'm going to pull the bag off and I've got the the broken bulb. Oh, of course the bulb didn't break. You know, I was sure I heard it break. Oh, the joke's on me. I'll slap this, smash it again in that really proactive way that I have. Okay, there's the bulb. It's still not broken. This is a trick bulb. Ah, oh, that's got it. Okay, so now I've got all the little shards of glass safely in my brown bag. And I've got an ugly looking little beetle looking thing left. So I'm going to put this safely in the pocket of my tool belt. And I'm going to remove half a potato, which I cleverly installed in my tool belt and I'm gonna whack that baby onto the whatever was left of that light bulb. Now check this out. It gives me enough of a grip with the broken pieces that I can get that light bulb out. All right, the potato trick. Do you love it? I know I do. Don't be eating this, okay? Because it's probably got nasty little crunchy bits in it that are no good for your tonsils. I'll put, put that back in there. Now I have my other light bulb. And I'll simply replace it. Now if I don't want this corrosion thing to happen again, I could um, coat the threads with some Vaseline as I'm putting it back up here. Let's just straighten this whole thing out here. Some, some fixtures, there's just really no straightening. This is a, this yellow bulb is a bug light. It um, sends out a frequency of light that doesn't attract bugs. So when you open your front door, you're not immediately festooned with various bugs of the night. Good word, festooned, use it often. Now, the clever viewer will be wondering, why didn't she tell us to at least turn off the power to the switch before she started this repair? Okay, 10 points, because that's a very good, very good point. I should always have checked, which I did, of course, or I would have by now been at the bottom of the ladder, in a, and I would be a, a lot blacker than I am now. So I'm going to go inside now and test out this new light bulb. Okay, it took its hit. The bag, the potato, the light bulb. If someone in your household is resistant to bathing, I know a little tip that'll help you out. Here it is. Try disguising soap as body paint. All right, this is how you make it. You boil a quarter cup of cornstarch with two cups of cold water until it's thick. Then you pour the glop into separate containers. You add a little food coloring. You add soap, the key ingredient. Now, kids and some adults really get into this. They're, they're painting body tattoos on themselves in the tub. They're, they're washing them off. They're starting over again. 
they're getting cleaner by the moment. You see, modern motherhood is challenging, and um, some of us are even married to people that with whom it's, it can be challenging, and I think it's good to just be creative and to keep, see, look, fun for adults, too. Now, here's another problem you might have. Maybe you have a teenager who just spends a little too long in the bathroom. So this is what you do. You paint up your hand really nice like this, okay? And make it look all kind of mucousy and maybe a bit gangrenous. And then what you do is you creak open the door of the bathroom really, really slowly when they're like looking in the mirror. And you just creak it open and then, then they just see the hand coming around the door like this. And then you go, <laughs> like this. The, the noise will scare them silly. They'll be out of that bathroom faster than they know what happened. And then all you have to do is a little minor cleanup job. So I'll just keep going with this. And uh, until next time on A Repair to Remember, I'm Mary Brophy. Why was this fun?